worked really hard. I mean, considering four years ago and he uh, put on his pads. Um, and it's, uh, he's a very conscientious guy, a real smart guy. So I've been pleased with him. Even though he's a starter, would you, do you still sort of view him as a project because of where well, he started out? No, he's not. Uh, I guess he was a project. And now he's playing, so now we consider him just, you know, like everybody else, how much better can he keep getting? And I think he will because, again, it's important to him. He'll continue to work hard to get better. If, uh, if Anu were 100% healthy Saturday or the following week, would he start? I don't do hypotheticals. And I'm not going to talk about injuries, so wait till Thursday. Okay. Um, when you first got here, what was your impression of Keone Bushlew and what kind of player loved he was? Him. Loved him as a, as a player, uh, loved him as a guy. Uh, just uh, just been, was, uh, really enjoyed having him here. And uh, certainly hated to lose him and understood the situation. But uh, he was really, you know, a lot of guys on the team had a lot of respect in that locker room. Have you talked to him at all since no, he went to Hawaii? No, not, not since he left, no. Are you noticing the, the guys from Hawaii starting to get excited? To yeah, play? that's Sonny. Sonny's got like several of his high school teammates uh, that play for Hawaii, and oh, yeah. I know we have other guys that know quite a few of their players. What do you make of their schedule, having to fly to Australia, and then they had to go to Ann Arbor, and they've been kind of well traveled? Yeah, they, they've got, you know, going to Australia was, I'm sure, was a long taxing trip to them, and then Coming back, I don't know the, what they did if they went, you know, to, to Ann Arbor early or not. Uh, but they played with pretty good energy in the last game, you know, which was good. I'm sure they were happy to be back home and uh, and all that. But that's certainly a challenge, you know, to, to go that many miles in that short period. Of time. Assuming that Cody is suspended for the first half, mm -hmm. is Jake Matthews the one? Who I don't know if Jake or Michael uh, Barton. It, it, uh, I haven't really even talked to the. To uh, Coach Yates about you know, who the, who's going to be the first guy. It may depend on the package or what defense we're running. What do you make of Jake's comeback from that foot injury and how he, you know, he made a huge play in the game? Yeah, he did. He's a smart guy. He's a veteran. Uh, been really proud of the way he's you know battled because that was a tough injury, really tough injury, and it took quite a bit to get back. But he's 100. percent Did you know he wants to be a doctor? Yeah, I did, and we talked about it a little bit. And like he's a really smart guy. He's part of the Smarter than I am, that's for sure. He'll have, he'll have great success because not only is he a smart guy, but he's a, he's got a good personality and he's a very, very hard worker. Great family. How have you assessed Tagaloa at guard in these first two games? You know, so I didn't think his last game was his best. He plays hard. He always plays hard. Uh, but his last game wasn't his best uh, game that he's had. Here. But, he, you know, it's so important to Freddie. It's the one thing I, that I love about Freddie that he – he continues to work on it, but he can play better. What are some things that don't make it his best game? That stand well, out? it's you know some of it is just I think sometimes you try to do too much. You know, you, your eyes again is almost like a quarterback. Sometimes you're you're getting a lot of different blitzes as an old lineman. You're looking at too many things, and and not simply over, you're overcomplicating it uh, a little too much. How has the blocking been among the wide receivers? Okay, you know we have a thing called got man a percentage of times that. You should be able to get your man, and the got man percentage should we want it to be 100%. It's not been 100%, but it's been pretty solid. Uh, but our coach Dews's expectation is 100%. Is Trey the best blocker among the? Group? I don't know. That's, I mean, Nate uh, Phillips has probably been the best over the last several years, most consistent. But Trey's a, a physical guy too. Um, you know, the older guys that are stronger and understand leverage are usually the best. Is Trey impressed you with his physicality through these first two games? No, like because we expected it. You know, he was a special teams guy uh, early in his career almost exclusively, and he showed it then. So it doesn't surprise you that him and Devon on Brandon's touchdown run sell out on those blocks and knock those guys out? Well, no, that's expected. I mean, it's like, you know, what you, I don't know if you have to reward guys for doing what they're supposed to do. I mean, that's what they're supposed to do. Do you think that Brandon's athleticism kind of, I don't know how to phrase this, but does he use it to, as a crutch at times? Like I, I think sometimes like I you can, can run, run, so I don't have to pass. Yeah, I think there are, there's a tendency where you can you know, just run when maybe taking off and then throwing might be a bigger play. But you know, we don't want to take away from his creativity, but it's got to do within the framework of the offense and let the offense or let the, let the play break down first. Uh, before you decide to, to, to scramble out on it. But, you know, you, again, he, he does have the ability to run and get away from people. 
So we, we, we tell him that uh, when he sees man coverage or sees nobody open, he can do that. He took some shots. I mean, he didn't go out of bounds really or slide. Are you kind of okay with how aggressive well, he was? Well, at times you got to be smart. We always talk about touchdown, first down, get down. And, you know, if he, a couple of times he was trying to get the first down, so I understood that and just being competitive. Are the uh, defensive backs? Oh, we just practicing.